Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, we'll be doing a review for The Power Puff Girls number one. This is a new book from Dynamite Comics. Uh, let's talk about the creative team before we get into this book. This book is written by Kelly Thompson with our pipe Paulina kind of show. Uh, Jeff Eckleberry on letters. Very interesting to approach a property like The Power Puff Girls. Um, I don't, I mean, I don't know if there's been comics from them before, but it really just makes sense, right? Uh, so in this book, we have superstar creators Kelly Thompson and Paulina Gana show. I, hopefully, I'm pronouncing that name correctly. Uh, as they join forces for a bold, adorable new take on everyone's favorite super trio, sugar, spice, and everything nice. These were the ingredients chosen to create the perfect little girl. But Professor Utonium accidentally added the extra ingredient to the concoction, Chemical X. Thus, the Powerpuff Girls were born, and ever since, Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup have decided have dedicated their lives to fighting crime and the forces of evil using their extra ultra superpowers. And I look, I haven't visited this property in a long time, uh, but it's always kind of been out in the periphery and in the zeitgeist. And I think it's cool that uh, they're doing this book, so I wanted to check it out. Uh, one, because I really like the creators, both of their, their work, whether it's uh, Thompson on, on Birds of Prey or Scarlet or Black Widow, uh, or whether it's Ghana Show and like things like Wonder Woman or the Shira comic. Uh, I, I like their work and I wanted to check it out. So, and of course, I wanted to see what kind of approach can you do on the Powerpuff Girls? Like, you know, it's been a long time since I've seen any of the cartoons, but I feel like they have a very distinct, very distinct personality. So, the way you do something fun here, something interesting is with the storytelling, right? Uh, let's talk about the art first because goodness gracious, that just completely nailed the aesthetic that you want from a Powerpuff Girls book, uh, which is hard because there's got to be a balance of like, how much do you want to make this like the original animation? Also, you don't have the advantage of this, you know, uh, comics is a static medium. Uh, and a lot of the stuff that comes from the Powerpuff Girls uh, the stuff that makes it interesting, it's all the visuals, right? Uh, but I really like here just how we are introduced, maybe seeing a little bit of the, the, the behind the scenes for the girls, right? What do they do when they're not out fighting crime? Uh, but then also, you know, there's, is, is there a scheme always kind of going uh, to trying to get them? That's also the other problem. So, uh, and yeah, I love it. It's big, it's bright, it's bold, uh, just you know, like I mentioned, bold and adorable at the same time uh, from the synopsis. So, yeah, it's really great. And it it explores what would the Powerpuff Girls want to do if they were not doing superhero stuff. And I think that's really fun. Uh, so, yeah, I really like the I really like that idea, the approach to seeing like what else, what, what other potential can these girls meet? Uh, and of course, you'll see a lot of classic villains, a lot of the classic shenanigans. Everything really comes back in this book. So if you're a big fan of the Powerpuff Girls, uh, this is really going to be something that I think you're going to enjoy as it just expands and into another adventure. Um, but if you've never read Power Powerpuff Girls, I think this brings you enough into like who these girls are uh, to maybe start here and then go back and check out the animated stuff. So uh, yeah, this was interesting. This was a really interesting experience. I like that Dynamite and a lot of other comic properties like Mad Cave and uh, they're just grabbing some of these old properties and giving them new life in the pages of comic books. I think a lot of those really can flourish there. Uh, so very excited to see what happens with this. Um, so let me know what other cartoon properties should be adapted into the comics. Uh, and as always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell. So you know when we go live, that is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.